Welcome to today's 3D print. This is the Low Poly Rose Twist Vase. I saw this on Reddit when someone made it out of wood fill. And I was going to make this out of wood fill until I printed something in the push plastic bronze, which I used for my post cap cover on my mailbox. Bronze is pretty close to what the mailbox looked like. And I was like, I have to print the vase in that. Look at the way the coloring shines on this. This is amazing. By the way, this is thing 2173745 by Riskable on Thingiverse. This thing is stunning. I love this thing. I printed this at the back side of my printer, just under 400, 390 millimeters. So this is pretty big. Um, it does not hold water. I had some issues with the bottom layer. It leaks right through the bottom. Um, I don't know why. Well, before I, I got to start it before I left for work, so I cranked up to 400% to do the bottom layers because I have to do the bottom layers at a flow rate of 100, but I need to turn the flow rate to 150 when it starts the vase, so I get a nice strong print. You know, I can really wrangle this. It's not going to break or anything. So that's easy enough. I'll just drop some epoxy in there, and then done. It'll be watertight because the sides, I'm pretty sure the sides are watertight. It's just the bottom that's not watertight. Good first layer, though. The plastic prints really nicely. It's a little sensitive to first layer. You need a little more squish to get it to stick right. But uh, once you get the right squish, it prints very smoothly. Very nice plastic. Um, that's it. I've got my, my perturbation noise down to almost zero. You can barely see a little perturbation noise from the jerk acceleration when it makes the change. See the sides perfectly smooth. When it makes the direction change, you see the little bit of perturbation there. They're even hard to pick out on the camera. This printer is tuned really, really nicely. The error up here is my fault. I had to move the light that was on top of the printer. When I did that, I jiggled it enough to mess up the layering. But it's still strong. You know, it doesn't break or anything there. I love this thing. This is nice. You know what this would also be nice as? Hmm, I didn't think of this. I might want to... I might want to pour some concrete into the bottom of this. About that much concrete, so it's very very heavy on the bottom and this might make a very nice little umbrella holder by the door because it's beautiful this is this is really really nice so check it out if you want to get one of these and print it yourself you of course don't have to make it this big although get a CR10 they're only 400 bucks I mean it's one of the highest quality printers money can buy right now you know for less than a couple of thousand dollars and um, I mean you're gonna get as far as I'm concerned Prusa Mark II quality you know, almost, not quite, but close enough that average Joe like me or you are not going to be able to tell the difference, that's for sure. That's 400 bucks. And it prints nearly 12 by 12 by 16. It is, I'm actually thinking about selling all my 3D printers and buying more CR10s. I would love nothing better than to have three of them sitting on my desk. <laughs> I just don't have the money. But, go on Thingiverse for this. Again, that's thing number 2173745. Thank you, Riskable, for publishing this. And enjoy.